Judge Candelaria came out of retirement for this preliminary hearing, presided over it for seven days now, made his decision. Do you see him also do, taking the bench for the trial? It's essentially up to the courts to assign the judges who are going to hear these cases. In this case, it's such a high-profile case, uh, so, much, so many emotions involved, it certainly made sense to have a pro tem judge, or in other words, a retired judge, take an appointment and get on the bench again. Um, it's unclear whether he's going to sit on the trial or whether they'll appoint someone else. Let's talk about the other substitute player, if you will. Carrie Brandenburg, of course, gave this case over to Special Prosecutor Randy McGinn. She did it for like five or six thousand dollars, which shocked a lot of people. Do you also see her taking this to trial and being the prosecutor in this case? I do. I think Randy McGinn is, is in this for the long haul, and she put the case together with Kevin Holmes, and they did. They did an excellent job. I mean, they were they just laid out the facts uh, very calmly, coolly, the way that prosecutors are supposed to do, and they were leaving it up to the judge to make the call. Next step being trial, possibly if there is no plea in this case. Then we move on to reasonable doubt. We saw a lot of evidence, a lot of testimony, a lot of witnesses, et cetera, throughout this preliminary hearing. Is this kind of a precursor of what we're going to see at trial if we get there? Yeah, we saw the road map today. We saw the script for the trial that's going to be uh, coming up because I don't think either side left anything on the table. There's no evidence that they didn't present. There's nothing that they held back. 